Apple will announce its new generation iPhone on September 9th, according to BuzzFeed News. People familiar with the matter claim that the company intends to hold a special event the week of September 7th, with, with Wednesday, September 9th being the most likely date. Traditionally, Apple releases new phones in the fall, presumably so the elves have enough time to make the phones to stick into kids' holiday stockings. Last year, the iPhone 6 event was held on September 9th. Is Uber planning to buy all the Teslas? TechCrunch posted a clip of Elon Musk's awkward silence and eventual evading of a question about a planned partnership with Uber. The question came during a conference call discussing Tesla's second quarter financial results. Let's listen to the clip. Hey, Elon, Deepak. Um, first question, uh, Steve Jurvinson was recently uh, quoted saying that Uber CEO Travis Klanek told him that if by 2020 Tesla's cars are autonomous, that he'd want to buy all of them. Um, <laughs> is, is this a real, I mean, forget like the 2020 for a moment, but is this a real business opportunity for Tesla supplying cars to ride-sharing firms, or does Tesla just cut out the middleman and, and sell on-demand electric mobility services directly from the company on its own platform? That's an insightful question. You, you don't have to answer it. I, th I think I don't think I, I don't think I should uh, answer it. Okay, we, let's move on. <laughs> I, he gave him an easy out out there. Now, this kind of silence comes as a bit of a surprise from the Tesla CEO, who is known for his Donald Trump-like penchant for saying crazy stuff all the time. If you think Philadelphians are the only people prone to bullying robots, you're wrong. Engadget reports that researchers from the ATR Intelligent Robotics and Communications Laboratories in Japan recorded children in an Osaka shopping mall interacting with a robot. And when I say interacting, I mean punching, kicking, hitting, shaking, and verbally abusing the robot. Eventually, the robot got the, the bullying got so bad that the researchers programmed an anti-bullying algorithm. Essentially, the robot learned to sense if it was dealing with a child or not. The report says that when the robot encounters a human, the system calculates the probability of abuse based on interaction time, pedestrian density, and the presence of people above or below four feet six inches in height. Now, watch out for the ones four feet six inches in height or below robot, just warning you. So the takeaway from the story is not, is that we do not have the robots to fear. It is the children that we should fear.